Hi there, it's Ryan Ao, Ao Productions. Good to see you guys, and if you are seeing me drip with sweat, I'm sorry, it's like 90 degrees out here today in Portland. But let's get right into this. So I wanna teach you guys a little bit about how did Steven Spielberg your business to success. I, everybody loves Steven Spielberg movies, right? I mean, he's just the master storyteller. So with that, we're gonna get into how you can actually make your own videos to help your company's bottom line grow. And I'm gonna start a five part series starting this week and we're gonna look at how um, you can use video marketing to tell emotion driven stories, engaging your audience's emotions to have a personal connection with you and your business. Um, and the key to doing that is putting them in the hero seat, showing them as the, the hero of the story, right? Enjoying your company's product or service in a lifestyle oriented storytelling video that will really keep them engaged through the end of the video with a call to action to buy from your company. So in, in, in this series, like you would think, okay, so you're gonna teach me, Ryan, how to create my own video. What camera do I use? What editing software do I use? How do I light it properly? And that's all great, but that's literally only about 10% of making a video good. About 90% of it really is pre-production and thinking your story through making sure you're talking to the right target audience, all those kinds of things. So what we're gonna start with today is defining your idea. Okay, when you are working with a production company or your own in-house team or even doing this yourself, the most important thing you can do is start with a brief. Now what's a brief? Well, a brief is any kind of document, it doesn't have to be formatted a specific way. You just start with a brief that allows you and your team to document the answers to the most important questions, which we're gonna get into here, um, so that everyone involved in creating the video can get on the same page. Now, if you're doing it yourself, it's still important to do this because you know, questions about the project's direction or mission or vision will come up as you're making these videos, and you can just refer back to this brief with the document that documents the goals and the takeaway from the, the project. So, yeah, so what do you, what do, you do with the first step of creating a brief, you ask yourself some important questions. One, what's the goal? What's the goal of the video? Why are we making this video? The why, right? Always ask the why. It really always boils down to whenever you're getting lost in the vision or you're losing track of what you were doing this video for or why it's not working, it's just why are we making this? So for me, often it's, um, you know, why are we selling the products that we're selling? What are we trying to offer to the world? That's your why, all right? And then if you're trying to sell products to a specific target audience, then obviously the second question would be, who is that target audience? Who is target audience? Now, I often have clients who don't even know the answer to this question, and that's because they still haven't asked their own business who is our target audience and the easiest thing to remember about that is if you're trying to sell to everybody you're selling to nobody you have to try to find a niche in this world there's so many people out there selling that it works better to find a niche to start out all right and and eventually like apple computers sells to everybody now because they're so big but when they started out they sold to computer geeks that was their target audience and creatives creatives and computer geeks so who is the target niche that you're going for with your audience? And usually you're defining the age, so it's like 30, to, for me it's 30 to 55 year old marketing directors, hi y'all, um, who, or CEO or, or owner of their company. That's my target audience. And um, you know, for me, I tend to make emotion driven stories, so I'm also putting that as an added layer to my target audience, people who would be affected by emotional stories, right? So the next question you're going to ask yourself is, okay, now that we know who, what the goal of the video is, the why, why are we selling our product, what are we doing, what we do for, who we're selling to, and who we want this to be messaged to, now we want to know the topic, right? So let's say you are a car company, and all right, we sell cars, great. That's the why. Uh, we, we help people get from point A to point B in style, right? Um, who is our target audience? Um, it's millennials. Okay, great. 
what do millennials like to drive? They like to drive stylish cars and they like to uh, get there fast. So what's the topic? Our car is fast. That would be your topic. So that's the, the point of the video, right? Okay, so you're showing off that it's a fast car, but the more specific, the better. So what about your car being fast? Well, it has sports mode. Great, make the video about sports mode then, all right? So that's the specific topic you're gonna get into. Write that down, that's part of your brief. Okay, so then you wanna have a part of your brief that's about the takeaways. What should people be taking away from this video? What should be, what should, why, what should they be learning from it? Okay, well, we just talked about millennials driving from point A to point B in a stylish car that goes fast with sports mode. What should they be taking away from it? Well, the, the takeaway might be that you can get from point A to point B with style in this car that has sports mode and it's new. It's a new technology and you want it. We don't, you don't want to miss out on this. So the takeaway is go get one right now. Go to your car dealership. But then that leads you to, well, how do I do that? What do I do? So the last point is call to action. And that is where you have your company name or a phone number or an address or a location or an email or um, a website or whatever. That's your call to action. Like contact us now or fill out our form online here or whatever. That's it. That's a brief. You've done a great job starting a project correctly. So um, next week, what we're going to get into a little more is about um, creating a script, which is super important to do because a lot of people like to wing it on a video project and that is not helpful. It'll get you tr in trouble because if you're just winging things, it ends up not being as well thought out or as authentic or as effective as you could be to get that ROI for your business, that return on your investment with this video project. So I'm really excited to teach you guys the whole process of making a video because everybody has access to the, to the technology right now to create videos. Hand me your phone, Steven. Let me show them something, a little visual here. I mean, look at these things. These are very powerful video cameras in here now. If you, if you just have this, you can make you can get 90% the way there. And yeah, sure, if you wanna make higher quality videos eventually, you can buy a camera and I'll teach you about that down the road. But right now, what I'm gonna teach you is how to make a good video in-house, even using something like this. So next week, we'll get into creating your script. And yes, down the road, we'll get into all the technical stuff, which is fun, but really not the most important thing. We're starting with the basics, getting you making a video, with the right questions asked. Hope you guys learned something today and I can't wait to see some of your projects and I'd love to see anything you make. So looking forward to the end of this series so you guys can start showing me your work. Talk to you later. And if you guys want any help um, with the process, please contact us at ryanao.com. You can fill out our form and I'd be glad to answer any questions you want or uh, leave a comment on this video. All right, talk to you later, bye.